All right, guys, I saw this thing sitting over here, and I know it's a special car, but it's not Elvis's car. <laughs> so tell me about this car, because it looks fairly complete. This is a remarkable car. It's a 1952 Maverick Sportster. Back in the 50s, over a period of about five years, they built about seven of these. It was actually built by one of the original employees of Maverick, and they were built primarily on Cadillac chassis. And this one came with a 19, early 1940s LaSalle chassis and engine. But uh, we, we, as we do the more research, most of these came with overhead valve Cadillacs and so forth. It's America's last Bowtail Speedster. It was done a year before the Corvette. Corvette came out in fiberglass in the fall of 53. Uh, this came out in fiberglass, and you could buy them in 52. It actually appeared at the Pebble Beach Concorde Elegance in 1955. Beautiful car. It was called, at the time, America's post-war Duesenberg. These are incredible designs. Is this based off of original pictures of the car? Somewhat. You're not looking at a body that's been modified. We're choosing a different type of taillight. But when you had a car like this, what was the right taillight to use? Whatever the person who owned it wanted. You could personalize a car much more so than you could personalize a Chevrolet Impala. Do we want to use these taillights? Do we want to have an inset for the license plate? You could design it on the fly. And the other thing is, none of these cars that we're seeing today at any of the locations are identical. There wasn't such thing as a production car. Every single one was hand-built. A car like this in metal from the 50s would bring hundreds of thousands, if not millions. When this car is done, how do you feel something like that will be received by the Concorde crowd, knowing that it's... It's been at Pebble Beach, not ours, but Fred Ross, the Pebble Beach Sloan 2012, right. received extremely well as part of a class of sport customs. Fred Roth has been the guru of the American sports car movement almost from the beginning, as he has been collecting and restoring these cars for over 50 years. Fred's already done all the heavy lifting. There's only three in the world, we have the other two. Fred's actually helping us um, participate in choosing the best way to restore this. It's a community that we've built, it's not a competition.